You remember where the switch is to turn on the light. You don't go like... <laughs> you don't go like that, right? You know exactly where the switch is. It might not work, <laughs> but you know where it is. You turn on, then you go to the next room. You also know where the switch is in the next room. You turn on, you need to go to the bathroom. You know the way exactly the switch is. You turn on. Every room that you wanted to walk in, each room has its own function and purposes and reason. And in order to do something there, you turn on the light there. You arrive at night. But you don't doubt about where it is. With the practices, I feel a little different. Sometimes people do have a doubt. Because those rooms are not very familiar for people. They had, people don't reflect on themselves enough. People say all the time, even in the Facebook Live, there was a, there was a question about, you know, I've been working on myself a lot. But when I go back home, my people, all the people that I'm related to, they don't work on themselves. I get trapped back right away into them. So some way you came here to not work within yourself. You came here to work with people who are not working. <laughs> ten direction, we call it ten direction. <laughs> Up and down. You have the friends all over ten direction. You are the center one who is in pain, who, who came here to get rid of all these ten direction friends. <laughs> well, you did not come here to work within yourself. So it's some sense of, you know, every time when we go in a deeper, in a sense, this ability, trying to look at as deep as possible, but very clear when you, when you look in, for, even for example, when you say, bring your attention to the body, speech, bring, when I say bring your attention inward, here and now, for me, I, I do, for me it's very, very specific things. It's not just... I don't know. It's a very, very specific thing in terms of my attention of my mind. It's immediately I feel the bringing it, like, like coming back home, turning on the light. Come back, boom, switches on. My body is illuminated. I, that's why I like the idea of light of awareness. I'm aware, therefore it is illuminated. Your awareness is a light. So when I'm aware, my body is a different body. What made different? Awareness made different, not the body. What was the different? Before it was not aware, now it's aware. That is a big difference. Te ma tok che. Then, when I bring my attention to the speech, what I do, it's immediately this sense of silence. So, no, no doubt, just boom. Immediately, either I rest in silence, feel the silence, connect with the silence. If I'm having challenges of all of these, then at least I try to listen to the silence with effort.
For example, if what I'm teaching now with the speakerphone, and you hear the fan also. So now, maybe before you're okay, maybe if, you, if you're sensitive with the other sounds, you think, I cannot listen to the teaching very well. The fan is bothering me. Why fan is bothering you? If the sound is bothering you, I'm louder than the fan. I should bother you. <laughs> why, you're, uh, why I'm not bothering you? Because you're listening to me. In, in, with, with openness. Why you're bothered by the sound of the fan? You're listening to it with closeness. That's why. The closeness bothers. The openness, it's a gift. So internally, when you don't hear it, listen. Because you're listening to something else. It's a shift of attention. Maybe good thing is, usually when you're used to doing practice so often, so the moment you enter, you, just, you are in this three door. Your body is illuminated, your speech is illuminated, your heart is illuminated. That means you're aware of the stillness, you're aware of the silence, you're aware of this warmth, and uh, the awareness is like illuminating all of them in the moment you're there. You're reflecting on your life, the moment you're reflecting in your t anger, you have already been very clear, you, have, you know the history, you know the stories, you know the people, you have everything, and you have narrowed down into patterns, similar patterns, into something very, very concrete, into one thing, you're right away you're there, just touching it right away. And that is something needed to be cleared in your system. That energy needed to be clear in your system. It's blocked in the right, or it's blocked in the left, it's blocked in the center, or it's blocked somewhere in a very subtle level and deep as a wind message is somewhere, underlying energies. So, so, so when you're clearly aware of that, then when you clearly apply the practice toward that, I say continuously until you feel the shift, the change. When you feel the shift, the change, the change need to be felt in, in concrete level. You need to feel your, like, a, like a new, new sense of self, new body, new, new speech. Maybe your voice might change. Literally, your voice might change. Literally, your presence of your in situation might change. The change you might feel, others might feel. Your thoughts might change, your emotions might change. Your decisions might change. Your actions might change, your purpose might change. And these changes need to be felt. And once we, once we feel these changes, we are not saying we are liberated or enlightened anyway. As Tonya said, the old new one likes to drink also. <laughs> yes, maybe new ones still like to drink, but it has a total different kind of relationship to the drink. It drinks with some sense of knowledge, art, taste, awareness, celebration, appreciation. So, real sense of shift, change, feeling that, that is, I think, is a very, very important. And I, you know, the beautiful thing is I do see that in, in, in a lot of people. A lot of people see that. They're much, much more open, much more accommodating, much more understanding. The tendency to control is less. Letting go, it's more. And 
And that doesn't mean things will not work. I mean, sometimes people think, oh, if I'm trying to be too, too easy, then everything's going to fall apart. That's not true. It's opposite. You become more successful. You're more creative. You're able to accomplish more, able to deepen more relationship, able to find more relationship. Because you're not being the obstacle all the time in any situation of your own success. And also you're not draining yourself all the time for the, all the, everything. You're trying enjoying more what is there not losing it, what is there, by searching what is not there. Every time, maybe if, if, in our life, sometimes it feels like every time you're losing something, something beautiful, which you had, you had it for a long time, by just totally ignoring it, focusing elsewhere, and trying to get something you don't have, but with so much with pain and, 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 you know, like effort and also create a lot of conflict and confusions and harming sometimes, case, some cases, others to get what you don't have. And when each time when you hurt somebody what you, in the process of getting what you don't have, you're losing something what you have. You have that sense of Affecting your inner space, affecting your inner awareness, affecting your inner love moment. You hurt somebody to get something to fulfill that what you don't have or trying to realize what you do have. You're losing, losing, losing trying to, by trying to gain, gain, gain. That pattern, we start very early, continue until we die. <laughs> 